In 2016, uh, we have a lot of competition in the mobile space. Uh, right here, guys, I got uh, the Galaxy Note 7 and I got the uh, Honor 8. So both of these devices, guys, it's absolutely amazing when it comes down to build quality. Uh, and we know that we got this big recall with the Galaxy Note 7. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, we got more news about that to come. So today, guys, I'm going to do four benchmark tests, Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench 4, and uh, 3D Mark, and GFX Benchmark. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get the benchmark and performance test uh, going here. So what I'm going to do is going to run the benchmark test. We're going to run Antutu benchmark, uh, and we're going to run all the benchmark tests. And then we're going to do some app opening. All right, so let's go ahead and run the tests. Let's go. Uh, guys, I can tell you that uh, when you're looking at both of these devices uh, at a distance, you can see that uh, both of the devices absolutely amazing when it comes down to uh, their build quality. Uh, and here, you know, with the Snapdragon 820 processor, you know, it's supposed to be the best of the best, right? You know, so we got the Galaxy Note 7 and we have uh, the, the Honor 8 with the carrying processor in it, okay? A full gigs of RAM. So first glance, looking at this benchmark test, uh, we do see that the Honor A is just a little tap choppy. So we're gonna let it run and let's see what the results are. Okay guys, so the benchmark test scores are in. Uh, we got the Galaxy Note 7, which is 14.1138 and the Honor 8, uh, which is a 91652. All right, so that benchmark test is over. So let's go on and close that one out and let's get to the next benchmark test which is geek bench 4. okay guys so uh geek bench 4 scores it in and the galaxy note 7 scored a single core score of 1504 multi-core score 3794 uh on the geek bench score on the uh honor 8 we got 1709 and multi-core score of 5124. So the Honor 8 beat uh, the Galaxy Note 7 on the second benchmark test. So we're gonna go in and get on out of here and we're gonna close it out and we're gonna go to our third uh, benchmark test, which is 3D Mark. So the scores are in and on the 3D benchmark test, uh, we have the Honor 8 was scored to 851, prospectively here, 851. And uh, the Galaxy Note 7 scored a 1413, prospectively here. So I can tell you that uh, both devices is very hot right now. Uh, definitely warm to the touch. So both devices is pretty warm. So we should be start to see some thermal throttling going on with both devices. All right, so we're gonna do our last benchmark test, uh, which is a GFX benchmark on both devices. Uh, I like to only select the um, one test and that's gonna be the T-Rex test. As I'm running this last test, guys, I want y'all guys to see the, the awesomeness of the 1080p screen on the Honor 8 and the beautiful, I mean, absolutely gorgeous screen on the Note 7. I mean, when you're looking at both devices, guys, even though this has a 1080p screen, both devices is absolutely amazing when you're looking at both uh, devices here, guys. Look like you're watching 4K video, even though the, uh, the Honor phone is a 1080p panel, it's absolutely amazing. If you didn't know, you would think that this was a 4K uh, screen because it's uh, so vivid, it looks so good. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the scores because the scores are in. All right, so the Honor 8 give you a 40 frames per second here, 40 frames per second. And unfortunately, uh, the uh, Note 7 give you 28 frames per second. And I mean, I can tell you why. This is, I play all back-to-back -back benchmark tests and you probably get thermal throttling uh, with this device, guys. I always kind of average about 35 frames per second when I run this test, uh, but at 28 frames per second here, and we have 40 frames per second here. 
All right, so on the benchmark test, guys, that's how I roll. All right, so um, let's go on and do performance. What app opens the fastest, okay? And because uh, overall, we all know benchmark test doesn't mean anything when it comes down to performance and app opening. All right, so let's go ahead and open up some apps. All right, so let's open up YouTube. Boo. And see what device opens the fastest on YouTube. All right, so uh, YouTube opened up fast, uh, the same on both devices, but it rendered faster on the Galaxy Note 7. All right, so let's go ahead and close that out. And just go ahead and open up Google. All right. So the Iron 8 opened up Google at the, uh, faster than the Note 7. All right. So let's go ahead and open up so, some uh, social media. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Facebook. All right. Facebook open up the same on both devices. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Twitter. All right, so Twitter opened up faster on the Honor 8 versus the Galaxy Note 7. So let's go ahead and open up the Play Store. And boom. All right, so the Play Store definitely opened up faster on the Honor 8. Both devices give you kind of similar scores. Uh, the Honor 8 beat the Galaxy Note 7 in some benchmark tests. Also, it beat... The, uh, the the Note 7 also an app opening on some of the tests. All right, guys, that's it. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about this benchmark and performance test. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.